Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK and this is a two year ownership review of this radio here, the TEF6686 Portable. Now, this is based on this particular version itself, this portable radio, which I got two years ago, which was one of the first models to appear um, and started gaining fame for its outstanding FM DX capabilities. Eventually, many TEF668 uh, radios uh, appeared after, like for example, the DP666, but I'm doing this radio based on this particular model and also on the TEF6686 chip's uh, performance. To keep this short, um, if you don't want to see the whole video, this is a fantastic radio for FMDXing, the best I've, you know, I've ever owned for FMDXing, even beating more expensive ones like uh, those I've used on hi-fi separates, for example. Um, also has very good performance for medium wave, short wave and long wave. It can also be used, this radio, remotely for FM uh, via the fmdx.org website like I have done, like many people have done as well. And the firmware can be unlocked quite easily, in my opinion, uh, as well. If you want to know how to unlock the firmware of this version, I'll leave a link in the description below of my tutorial uh, videos. Expected price of this radio is about uh, 50 to 70 British pounds. Convert that to your local currency. Unfortunately, it doesn't have single sideband uh, mode and it lacks an internal infrared antenna for the medium wave and long wave bands. A Texan PL330 or XH data or the Suadon DA28 is recommended for single sideband mode uh, capability um, if you want. Um, but if you want a radio that uh, still has the TF6686 uh, chip, because the Texan PL330 or the XA State or Swad on the 808, they don't ha uh, use the TF6686 chip. But if you want a radio that has the TF6686 chip and you can DX the long wave and medium wave bands and they've got an internal ferrite antenna in them, get that Codeson uh, DX286. I've got it and I highly recommend it. But just to let you know that that radio either does not have a single sideband mode, like I said. Uh, best to get the Texan PL330 or XH Data D808 or SWAD on D808 for single sideband mode capability because they're very good for their prices. Okay, so now out of the way, this is the long part. Let's start with the pros. First one is that, uh, of course, the main reason why everyone buys this radio, including myself, is the FM performance. The best out there you can buy for portable radio, in my opinion. I cannot think of any other radio that does better in that aspect. I'm certain of that. This is for sure a true FMDXing uh, radio. Another pro is the sensitivity on FM uh, coming off the internal uh, whip antenna, like you can see here, is excellent. It's great. And also when using an external antenna, like for example, when I use my outdoor um, FM antenna, um, the sensitivity and performance is uh, great um, indeed. Another pro about this radio is the selectivity is excellent on this radio thanks to the great selection of bandwidth filters like for example on the FM band, um, also available on other bands, long wave, medium wave um, and short wave. But on the FM band it is so great having so many bandwidth filter selections um, but it also has an automatic bandwidth uh, selection. It uses dynamic bandwidth depending on the interference, the, you know, for example, a station you're listening on a particular frequency receiving, especially if you get two stations uh, adjacent to that frequency that uh, you are listening um, to. Uh, I recommend when you get this radio first time, especially for beginners, um, you don't mess around with the radio with the bandwidth filtering, just use the dynamic bandwidth filtering. Like for example, here it says Auto BW, that's the uh, automatic bandwidth setting, that's dynamic bandwidth uh, filtering. I recommend just leave it it, leaving it there as that if your radio has this selected already, because it does a fantastic job at eliminating and reducing um, interference. Another pro about this radio is the great sensitivity and selectivity as well for medium wave, long wave and short wave. I'm using this radio more for those bands, uh, even more than uh, my other favorite radios for those bands like the XH Data D808, for example. Um, another pro about this radio is that it uses an SMA connection for con uh, antenna connectivity. Uh, you can, for example, plug an MLA30 directly into this uh, radio as well, because that uses an MNA, uh, SMA uh, connection. So go straight to the radio and that's it, no, no need for uh, adapters, let's say. I can tell you that I've not no, noticed any signal loss when using adapters uh, on the radio. It's only if you go somewhere like two gigahertz and above, anything that's not, not an SMA may introduce uh, signal loss, but nothing, nothing great uh, that I've noticed or there's hardly any signal loss anyway. Uh, another pro is that battery life is very decent um, on this uh, radio. Um, 
it holds uh, the battery charge uh, really well even after not using the radio for some time uh, I cannot tell you exactly how long the battery lasts specifically because it depends how you use it everybody uses the radios differently but I have no complaints about this uh, the battery life of this radio uh, for example I can use this an entire day without having to worry about the battery life after you know fully charging this uh, radio Another pro about this radio is that the display is of a good size, it's alright, not too big or small, uh, though some parts may be a bit hard to read, especially the smaller text or fonts on the radio. Um, so uh, just to let that you know, um, I can use this because I have to use uh, reading glasses for reading, I can get away with not using reading glasses, but everybody's vision is different, so just be aware of that. Um, Another pro is that the display brightness is okay, but on the very bright side, uh, sunlight it may suffer. Right, The solution is to um, use the uh, whiteout theme display, we've got it available on the firmware of your radio. Set the brightness of the display to maximum, and then you can see the, the display in bright uh, sunlight. Another pro about this radio is that um, the firmware on these uh, radios, they can be you know, upgraded or installed to your liking. Um, it's not needed in most cases um, or in some cases but for me for someone that likes to tinker around yes you can install the firmware quite uh, easily again if you want to know how to do that link it links are in the description uh, below um, so yes yeah, like for example if you want to use this radio uh, use it remotely for the fmdx.org website I'm certain what they've said is you have to upgrade the firmware of this radio to the latest um, 2.0 versions or something like that and you have to join the TEF Discord group to uh, get them. I will leave a link as well in the description below of the Discord group um, to uh, join. So there. Right, another pro of this radio is that the build of this uh, radio, the build quality is very good including um, the case itself, the buttons, the display and the side buttons too and the antenna connection as well. Um, everything is fine. The only thing is sometimes uh, a few scratches may appear, a few marks um, and also the adhesive stickers, they may come off uh, as well. But apart from that, this radio is absolutely fine, solid and still working um, as, um, it, uh, as it is. Another pro about this uh, radio is that it's very portable, uh, fits into most pockets I've got. A great choice if you like to take a very good performing radio um, on uh, on your travels. Another pro about this radio um, is that it has lots of RDS information for when receiving unknown signals, like for example via eSkip or tropospheric conditions. Keeps nerds like me very happy uh, that like to look at a lot of um, RDS information. So there. Okay, let's move on to the cons. The first con is that this radio uh, like I said, does not have single sideband mode capability if you're the sort of person that likes to listen to things like ham, ham amateur radio operators and utility stations. Um, also, there's no internal uh, ferret antenna for medium wave and uh, long wave uh, signals. Like I said, um, if you try to use the internal whip antenna indoors um, for listening to medium wave and long wave, chances are you will get a lot of noise unless you are very lucky to live in a place with hardly any man made noise. Ferret antennas are great at minimizing indoor noise from things like Wi-Fi routers, LEDs, HDTVs and so on. I recommend using an MLA30 antenna connected to this radio if you want to listen to long wave and medium wave indoors. If not, then like I said, get the Codus NDX286 because that has the internal uh, internal ferrite antenna. Like I said, has the same chip as this radio, the TF6686. And like I said, very good performer. And I can attest to that because I own one myself. Okay, um, another uh, con about this radio is that um, some noise can be picked up from the internals of this radio when using the internal whip antenna on the long wave and the medium wave bands and also a little bit on the short wave band um, as well. I haven't noticed anything on the FM band, by the way, uh, regarding uh, noise. So even if you are outdoors in an area, for example, in the middle of a park, away from man-made noise and there's no noise on the bands over there, you will still get noise in the medium wave and the long wave band thanks to the uh, internal electronics of the radio going into the whip antenna um, and you will receive them and uh, you know unfortunately so yeah it's not that bad but just to let you know that um, it is uh, there so the solution to this is to use a grounded antenna of course you're not going to take your mla30 on your walks everywhere with you for that yeah unfortunately that's a problem with medium wave and long wave but again solution to that a better solution would be to get the Codus and DX26 if you like to uh, go outdoors with your radios and you want to uh, DX the medium wave and the uh, long wave uh, band. 
Another con about this radio is trying to set up the Wi-Fi on this radio can be very fiddly. I cannot work it out at all. Um, well, I sort of worked it out, but um, it just doesn't seem to work well for me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, Wi-Fi is uh, not that great. And another um, con about this radio is that uh, there's no Bluetooth on this uh, radio, as far as I know. Uh, maybe other versions of the TF6686 available. Um, they may have Bluetooth functionality, but as far as I know, this one doesn't have it. Okay, uh, so there. And another con about this radio is that the volume, it's all right, it's good, but it could be a little better. Okay, it could have a bit more um, volume uh, or amplification uh, to it. Okay, so, um, you know, because uh, with the internal speaker, I mean, it's absolutely fine. I can hear it fine and so on. Yeah, but could do with a little bit, like I said, just a tiny little bit more, bit more volume amplification um you know especially when you're trying to dx or listen to the radio in a very uh, noisy area like i sometimes uh, do okay then so to summarize a great this is a fantastic and excellent radio for fm dxing it's the best i've ever owned for fm dxing for sure for everything performance sensitivity selectivity and rds display information Having things like as well other modes uh, like long wave, sorry, having other bands rather like long wave, medium wave and short wave is a bonus on this radio and it works really well. It's a shame this radio doesn't have single sideband mode because likely the TEF6686 cannot support single sideband mode uh, capability. Um, so like I said, get something like the Texan PL330 or XH Data DA28 to complement this radio, right? Not to replace it, to complement it, like I do, and I'm sure many of you, um, many people have done as well, maybe many of you watching this video uh, as well. If you haven't got those radios, any of those radios, I do recommend them too. But I am really, really happy with this TS6686 radio, same as I'm very happy with my desktop version as well, which I will do an overview as well at some point uh, later on. Um, and again, having this first radio, this first TF6686 radio led me to get the desktop version um, as well because I found out how fantastic it is on the FM band because I bought this mainly for uh, FM uh, DXing. So overall, if you enjoy FM DXing, right, this is the radio to get. It is an absolute no-brainer and they sell all models that I've seen so far. They sell at uh, great prices um, indeed. So then... This is the TF6686 radio. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another video.